Iceland on the Trail of Democracy was a really interesting and educational film. I learned so much about Iceland and its democracy and its former constitution and the fight to amend that constitution to better um, account for today's issues and the environment and all those things. So I loved that this film right off the bat has that um, comedic edge to it with the intro and introdu introductory credits um, and that sort of carries on throughout the film. We have this slight comedic edge which I loved um, especially with the interviews in the swimming pools. Um, the fact that she got right in there with the citizens of, of Iceland um, in the swimming pools on the streets interviewing the people um, which this is a very people focused film of course it's about democracy and we're really hearing from everybody um, and their opinions on what is happening in Iceland and what has happened in, in the history of Iceland um, so just hearing from regular people and not just the politicians was really important for this film and I think it's helped the theme of this film democracy um, so yeah I loved hearing about um, Iceland's history with their constitution I loved that we had all of these interviews and it felt like we were following a trail while listening to the interviews. Like we would have um, someone mentioned in one interview and then immediately um, we're having an interview with that person. Like Hodor Torfason, I don't know if I'm pronouncing his name right, but he was mentioned in one interview and then immediately we go and talk to him. And then from him, we talk to someone else. Um, we're just following this trail of history to, to figure out the facts and the truth behind everything, which I thought was cool. It just felt like we were a part of um, the documentary team following this trail. Um, but yeah, I loved that this film also highlighted a lot of Icelandic culture um, and their landscapes. We had some beautiful cinematic shots of Iceland's environment, the beautiful Icelandic landscapes and the glaciers and just what makes Iceland so beautiful. And part of what is mentioned in the new constitution is being protected. Um, but yeah, I loved that aspect. Um, I loved learning about the process behind this new constitution and how it really incorporated the people and was very transparent and helped and had a lot of contribution from normal citizens and people writing in or calling in and saying, hey, we need to change this, we need to change that. Um, can we add this to the constitution? So we had, it had so much input from the people, which I thought was really cool. Um, and also at the end of this film, we had the timeline sort of showing us what happened next after we left off um, and what is happening now with Iceland's constitution. So I loved seeing that little update at the end as well. Um, but yeah, it was a really well put together film. I learned a lot about Iceland um, and their constitution and and how, how the people are getting involved. Um, and yeah, that was really cool and I, I loved learning about it. This film is called Iceland on the Trail of Democracy. This was a fascinating doc. It displays a universal theme of the tension between those in power and regular folks. I really admire the people trying so many innovative ways to create a new constitution. I love the use of CGI icons and art all the way through the film. The video footage of the protests was excellent, as were the wide variety of interviews of people from all walks of life and locations, from offices to hot baths. I really enjoyed the footage of the gorgeous Icelandic vistas. I would love to go there someday. Great job. This documentary, Iceland on the Train of Democracy, um, outlines the process of Iceland's revolution in which they started the process of creating a new constitution. Um, to start, I really liked the opening credits ending style, or sorry, editing style and music. Um, and just in general, the music and style throughout that they put in, I think it added a lot of um, pop, pop to it and it was very engaging. And they talk a lot about the importance of giving a voice to the people. Um, and I really liked that not only did they interview some of the key players in the revolution, but they were told to also go out and into the communities and ask members of the community what it was like for them and what they thought of the revolution. Um, it's pretty amazing how they're able to unify everyone to come together and to improve their democracy and care about the future of their whole country. Um, while it did not go through, um, they still highlight the importance of what they all tried to do and how so many people believe that it's still possible and they remain resilient through to the end. 
Iceland on the Trail of Democracy is a documentary that goes to show that we can acknowledge that change needs to be enacted and enforced. And we get to see this beautiful journey that this country gets to take as they uh, take and rewrite their constitution to include things that have changed within modern times. And so we get to see this, you know, social justice moment where this community, this population of people, uh, you get to see who's passionate, who comes together, who votes, who creates change. And you get to see uh, that there are people who want to be involved and people who don't want to be involved. So it's a really vast uh landscape that has been created of what it's like to be in the political mindset and how can you be a political advocate for your community or uh, what these different experiences on having input and using your voice. I think there's a lot of opportunity in this documentary to showcase an example that is what is a need in a current world crisis, especially in a place such as America, as we've come to uh, such a step where we feel we have to choose uh, one of the lesser evils. We have this example of a community of people, an actual country, of such regard that has taken into account that change needs to be made and change needs to be uh, redacted from the constitution and things need to be updated and changed and we get to see what that process uh, can look like for someone and we get to have this little bit of history of how this happened how we got to this point and this economic downfall that had such an influence that had changed things as they knew it. Um, they had such a fall that they had to rise back from it. And the people took that power in their own hands. And I think that is what is most powerful of all, is that uh, we as people do have a voice and we do have power. And this country shows that we have exactly that. Um, it sort of is a driving force of this uh, landscape of hope that we can uh, enact change and we can uh, rewrite our constitution as we know it. This documentary gives a really interesting look at politics in Iceland as well as the history. I thought it did a great job of using different clips from media and interviews and perspectives and having a central theme connecting them all in a way that was really interesting and engaging for us as the audience as we followed along.